Hello, I'm Ron Reagan. Like many of you, I've experienced the aging process through parents, grandparents, other family members. If we're lucky, we'll all get to experience this process directly. But whether 36 or 86, the art of aging as a sociological, physical phenomenon can be influenced by groundbreaking research with profound implications. It's been said that in about 20 years, nearly 20% of our population is going to be over 65. That's a large block of folks. Exercising, no matter what form it is, whether it be Tai Chi or whether it be other forms of exercise, is good for a person as long as they do it on a regular basis. I've always been active. I like exercising because you feel so much better after you've exercised. I want to do exercise and be active. Just, this is active. The sort of active approach which realizes the mind and the body are connected and both can benefit from that sort of active lifestyle is today's big message. And it's a new message because we didn't know this a few years ago. Physical activity wasn't the only thing that uh, I looked for. I looked for intellectual activity as well. The intellectual life allowed me to anticipate, allowed me to think, allowed me to participate. The most recent surveys are showing that we're getting about half of the calcium that we should. And the average American is certainly not getting enough exercise. You have to motivate yourself. People tell you to do it, and people tell you it's good, and all that. That doesn't help as much as when you say, I feel better. And that's mentally and physically. I don't know, I get as much out of the laughing as I get out of the exercise almost. It feels, feels good to laugh. Nice loose shoulders. Growing old isn't what it used to be. According to those reluctantly in line to qualify as our next senior citizens, 80 is the new 60. Baby boomers believe their aging process is very different than their parents. They say they've exercised more and feel healthier, but aging continues to be a complex process. Depression, dementia, laughter, and socialization are just small pieces of the expanding mosaic of growing old in America. The Art of Aging explores the key ingredients for aging well.